Hello students, today we're going to be talking about your final project. Now, um, you're going to be given the rest of the week uh, to complete this probability project. Now we've been talking about probabilities, how to find probabilities, different things um, about probabilities. Uh, and so now you're going to put basically probability to the test. And so to prove that you understand how to find um, expected value, how to find probabilities of different things, and how to apply them to a game, your job is going to be to design your own game. Now, for this assignment, it, you design any sort of game uh, that you'd like, anything like a carnival, an amusement park, or some sort of a casino game, maybe a, a board game that you would play at home with your family, something like that. So your job is to make one like that. Now, generally, when we do this at the end of the semester, um, you're in groups because we're in school. Now, I understand for some of you that'll be easy to form groups, and that's fine. If you want to work on this as a group project, I'm totally fine with that. You can have up to four people in your group. Just remember, though, the more people there is, the, be the more uh, expected of you there is. If you work on it individually, that's fine, too. Uh, just it won't have to be, obviously, as elaborate. So... Uh, you're going to have the week to work on it. You'll have the rest of today, and then you'll have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to complete it. Uh, and you have to post your write-up uh, of your game and any pictures or descriptions of your game uh, on our uh, discussion board by Friday at 10 p.m. Uh, and so I'll, you can look at other people's if you'd like to, um, and you're welcome to comment on it. This game is fun. Uh, looks like fun. Hopefully we can play it, something like that, as long as your comments are appropriate and kind and uplifting um, to your classmates. So like I said, you can work in groups of up to four, um, but you cannot use a game that already exists. So it must be unique and you must be able to explain the probability of your game. And so don't make it too hard. Now, what you're going to have to do you're actually going to have to have a game board. Um, now, I understand since this is a digital assignment, you might not really make the board, and that's totally fine. Um, but a, a good elaborate picture of it might be really good. You might need any game pieces, much you might need, um, different things like that. You'll have to include uh, what you would have needed, okay? Uh, you're also going to have to make up instructions. Now, because, again, we're going from a distance, um, you're going to have to have really good written or typed up instructions on how to play your game. Now, if you're working in a group, um, I would make sure that your group understands the game, your group understands all the rules to the game, and it's something that you can easily explain to someone, um, not even just in your class, but someone outside of class, a younger sibling, um, parent, uh, a grandparent, someone like that. So you want to make really good instructions, and so that I myself reading them, reading your instructions, would know exactly what's going on in the game. And then finally, the real piece that you are graded on is your write-up, okay? So the write-up has this. The first part is an introduction. And so what you're going to do is you are going to um, say what your game is, um, where you would play this type of game, how much it costs, and what are the prizes if you win. Now, for some people, it's just bragging rights. You know, if you play a board game at home, that's what you win. But if you're at a carnival or an amusement park, you maybe would win a stuffed animal. Uh, you'd win some sort of prize, okay? Your instructions are also going to be included in your write-up. Um, and so make sure that your write-up is clear. Um, make sure that your instructions are clear so that other people can do it. And your game description. So what is it all that you need to play? Um, all the materials, and then draw a picture of your board game because we can't actually make it. You're just going to draw a picture of it. And remember, more color, more elaborate, the better you'll do. Next, here's where the probability comes in, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to be finding your expected value, okay? And you're going to be talking about that in your game. Now, what exactly is expected value? So remember, if we look at a dice, okay? So one, uh, two, three, four, five, six is expected value, right? And so what we're going to do, um, if this is a dice, right, your probability of winning each one of these is one-sixth, right? One-sixth, 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 and one-sixth, right? And so your expected value, what you're going to do is we did this. We said it was x times uh, p of x, right? 
And that's what we did. And so we would just multiply them, right, for each one. Okay? And so 1 times 1 sixth is 1 sixth. 2 times 1 sixth is 2 sixths. Then we had 3 sixths. Then we had 4 sixths. And then 5 sixths. And 6 sixths, right? And then what we did is our expected value was when we added them all up, right? So 1 plus 2 is 3, 6, 10, 15, 21 out of 6, which you, if you were to um, break that down, that would be 3.5 is your expected value, okay? E of X, we call that expected value is 3.5. So if you're going to roll a die, your expected value, what you are expecting to get is 3.5. Now, obviously, that's not going to happen. You can't get 3.5 on a die. But what it's saying is every time you roll the die, you're expected to get 3.5. And, and you'll notice that 3.5 is right, with, right halfway in the middle um, of all of your options, all of your outcomes. Now, the probability all remains the same. You see it's all 1 sixth. But let's say that we were going to do something like you have a die that's uh, loaded where one side is, is more. So like instead of everything being one-sixth, everything is, um, you know, like one-seventh except for four would be two-sevenths. And so then that's going to change your whole expected value, okay? All right, so... That is the next part of it. It says, if the game is not fair, how could you change it to be fair? And that would be how you change it. You should make it all the probabilities the same. Okay. Now, finally, the last one. Uh, so this is all for your write-up. Okay. One through four is all through your write-up. Your group just has to turn in one of those on the discussion board. And any person from the group can do it. The next part, however, is unique to you. And this is the reflection. Okay, and this accounts for the final 10% of your project, right? So the first, this is all 90% of your project, okay, your group work, but this is the final 10%. And if you don't do this, that's fine, but just know that the highest you can get is an A- minus on this. You can get a 90%. Otherwise, it's this, okay? It says a one-page reflection, but really it's four questions you have to answer, and you just write it out, okay? What were your feelings about the project? You like it or you didn't like it? Did the project help you understand probability any better? That's a yes or no. You can say yes, it did. No, it didn't. And why? Um, how did your work, group work together? Maybe uh, you all worked really well together. And that's good. You can say that. If there weren't, uh, it says if there are any members that didn't pull their weight, you make sure you list them because I want to make sure that you for sure um, get the credit that you deserve. Okay? And then finally right here. Okay? Here's the last part, and this part goes into your reflection as well, okay? It says, what have you learned about fair games? What's your opinion on Las Vegas and the gaming industry? Do you think it's fair to have establishments designed to play uh, for people to lose money? What's your opinion of lottery, and what do you advise? I want you to pick, um, pick two of these and answer them, okay? And they're just opinions, but I want you to pick two of those questions there, and I want you to give me what you think, okay? What have you learned about fair games, or what's your opinion of Las Vegas and the gaming industry? Do you think it's fair to have establishments designed for people to lose money? What's your opinion of the lottery? Would you advise your grandmother to play the lottery? Um, and what do you think about gaming casinos? And you can just pick two of those and answer it. That's part of it. So remember, uh, the write-up, including your game board and all that kind of stuff, is 90% of it. The final 10% is your reflection, making sure you pick two of these, okay? Now, along with this, obviously, in your assignment, you can see that here's the rubric, and this is how you're scored, okay? And you can read through this. I'm not going to go through it all, but you can see, obviously, the better you do, the more fours you get, the better your group um, or your assignment is. And then, like I said, the individual reflection right here is the final 10%, okay? So if you have any questions along the way, remember, I'm giving you a full week to do it. So I wouldn't wait on it. I would make sure you get started right away. If you want to work with groups, that's totally fine. Um, just make sure that your group is pulling your weight and that you um, have it in by Friday at 10 p.m. Good luck, and uh, I look forward to seeing your games.